We often look up into the sky and dream of flying to the stars, not even suspecting that we are already rushing with a great speed in a spaceship called Planet Earth. The Earth is not only the inner depths and surface on which we walk, it is also the sky above us, or rather the multi-layered atmosphere or the skin of our ship. The entire Earth sphere, from the core to the outermost layer of the atmosphere, is a single interdependent system. Each layer is an integral component of the planet. The engine of our ship is the core. Lately, we have been seeing malfunctions in this machine. Alarms flashed on our ship's control panel. Magnetic field is weakening. Natural disasters are becoming more frequent. Ocean heating and accelerated melting of glaciers from the bottom up. Increasing frequency and intensity of earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, tsunamis and hurricanes, deterioration of health of the inhabitants of the planet and much more. This all is a consequence of the malfunction of our engine, the Earth core. The core is the hottest part of our planet. The processes of radioactive decay of substances take place there. They release a tremendous amount of energy that the human mind cannot imagine. The heat flowing out of the depths of the Earth is equivalent to the heat that 50,000 nuclear power plants can generate. So far, science does not know how the Earth's core actually works. In fact, all studies aimed at studying the structure of the core and its properties use only indirect methods. To date, scientists assume that the Earth's core consists of two parts, a solid inner core and a liquid outer core. The core forms the magnetic field on the principle of a dynamo. The essence of this principle is that the rotation speeds of the inner solid core and the outer liquid core are different. As a result of the friction between these two structures, an electric charge is generated. In outer space, everything moves at enormous speeds. Our planet rotates on its axis and orbits the Sun. The Earth moves in an elliptical orbit with an average speed of 30 km per second. Our solar system moves around the galactic center at an average speed of 200 km per second. Warning! Dangerous displacement of the core detected. Thanks to satellite observations of the Earth's center of mass, in 1998 scientists registered an abrupt bouncing of the core. As a result, the core abruptly changed the direction of its drift by 90 degrees and shifted northward toward the Tamir Peninsula. According to scientists, this caused changes in the Earth's upper and lower layers. But changes in the Earth's core had been observed even earlier. Phil Livermore, an associate professor at the University of Leeds, was surprised when a trial of swarm satellites detected signs of a fast-flowing river of melted metal in the Earth's outer core. Researchers indicate that this jet stream is moving from Canada to Siberia and now wraps halfway around the planet. This jet stream is also accelerating and is also expanding since 2000. Its width has increased in 420 kilometers. It is moving at about 45 kilometers a year, faster than typical outer core speeds and thousands of times faster than the speed of the tectonic plates. The reasons for the acceleration of the jet stream are still unknown, but according to the researchers, this jet is critical for the global magnetic field. Meanwhile, the speed of the North magnetic pole drift over the past 20 years has increased almost fourfold and amounted to 55 km per year. Along with this, the planetary magnetic field, which has already been mentioned, has strongly weakened. Warning! 
formations at the core mantle boundary detected. Leakage of the liquid core into the lower layers of the mantle detected. The interaction between the mantle and the Earth core plays an important role in the life of the planet. In the mantle, streams of hot material move upward, while cold streams of mantle matter go downward. This movement of the mantle is called convection. It causes continental drift and, as a consequence, triggers earthquakes and volcanism. Threat of mantle plumes activation The top layer of the mantle and the Earth crust form the lithosphere. When we walk on the Earth's crust, we get the impression that it is solid, very reliable and sturdy. But it breathes and moves. The Earth's crust is only 1% of the mass of the entire planet. It can be compared to an eggshell. Beneath the oceans, its thickness does not exceed 15 kilometers and is up to 75 kilometers in the continents. The thinnest crust is in the area of the Mariana Trench and the San Andreas Fault, where its thickness varies from 5 to 10 kilometers. Instability of the Earth's crust is detected. Deep faults, threat in the Mariana Trench, high probability of hydraulic impact. The top layer of the mantle is called the asthenosphere. It's the layer where rocks now melt, now cool and solidify. The substance of the asthenosphere is more plastic and serves as the lubricant on which the entire Earth's crust slides. Deep focus earthquakes are occurring more frequently. This movement is due to convection in the mantle. Convection is the mechanism that brings chemical elements like carbon, hydrogen, oxygen and nitrogen to the Earth's surface. These are the elements that are part of the atmosphere, without which life on Earth is impossible. The atmosphere is a gaseous envelope that rotates along with the Earth as a single whole and regulates the flow of heat and cold, creating comfortable conditions. Its role is to protect living organisms from the destructive cosmic impacts. It is like the protective plating of a ship. It consists of several basic layers. Each layer of the atmosphere performs a different function. The troposphere is the lowest layer of the atmosphere. Because of its properties, the near-surface layers of the troposphere are the main habitat for all living organisms, plants, animals and humans. Clouds and all meteorological phenomena are formed here. The height of this layer is about 8-16 kilometers. Warning! Troposphere is heating. Extreme intensification of airflows, increasing intensity and frequency of hurricanes and typhoons. Stratosphere. The stratosphere is where the ozone layer is, which protects all life on the planet from harmful ultraviolet rays. The thickness of the layer is 11-50 kilometers. Therefore, planes cannot fly above this layer. Warning! Depletion of the ozone layer detected. Ozone holes are forming. The stratosphere is cooling. The mesosphere is the layer that protects the Earth from being hit by small celestial bodies, meteorites and asteroids. The thickness of the layer is 50 to 85 kilometers. Every day, dozens of tons of meteorites enter the Earth's atmosphere, but thanks to the mesosphere, they burn up before they reach the surface. From Earth, this phenomenon is seen as shooting stars. Warning! Abnormal temperature drop. The thermosphere absorbs extremely dangerous ultraviolet radiation from the sun and protects the Earth from the harmful effects of cosmic rays. Because of the impact of solar radiation on the atmosphere, we observe a phenomena called aurora borealis. The thermosphere is the hottest layer, where the temperatures can reach up to 3000 degrees Celsius, depending on the solar activity. 
In this layer, the air is rarefied, so aircraft in the therosphere are not heated. Interestingly, it is in this layer that astronauts fly, space stations and satellites are located. Due to the high radiation exposure on humans, the altitude limit of spacecraft is 500 km. The height of the layer is from 85 to 6090 km. Warning! Abnormal decrease in density. Chemical composition of the atmosphere is changing. Protection from high energy particles is weakening. The upper layers of the atmosphere, mesosphere and thermosphere form a common layer, the ionosphere. Ionosphere has high electrical conductivity. This is where ionization processes and lightning generation occurs all the time. Thanks to the ionosphere, radio waves travel long distances. Warning! Anomalous dysfunctions in the ionosphere. The number of lightning strikes has increased greatly. The outer boundary of the ionosphere is also the outer part of the Earth's magnetosphere. Warning! Magnetic field is weakening. Dramatic shift of the magnetic north pole. The exosphere is the highest and largest outer layer of the atmosphere. It is the gateway to outer space and extends for tens of thousands of kilometers. The planet's extended exosphere is often called the Geocorona. It is composed of hydrogen atoms escaping into space. This layer is Earth's first line of defense against the flow of charged particles that come from the Sun and are destructive to all life. Only unmanned satellites can fly in the exosphere. Solar radiation significantly compresses the Geocorona to a height of about 60,000 km, raising its density to about 70 particles per cubic centimeter. On the night side of the planet, the exosphere spreads out, becoming much more rarefied, and the Geocorona reaches up to 630,000 km away. A hundred radii of the Earth itself and much farther than the lunar orbit. The layers of the atmosphere and the layers of the Earth compose a single system that works as a coherent mechanism. This work depends on the magnetic field that permeates all of the Earth's layers. Without the magnetosphere, all life on the planet would die and the atmosphere would be blown away by the solar wind. A huge amount of cosmic radiation would bombard the Earth it was the disappearance of the magnetic shield that caused the destruction of Mars, once a flourishing planet. Warning! Malfunctions in the Earth's core. Systemic malfunctions in the entire planet's mechanism are detected. Threat of the destruction of all humankind is imminent. We, the people, we all live on one big spaceship. Our task is to preserve our home for us and for future generations. So far, our ship has been flying on autopilot, but there is less and less time left. We as a crew can combine our efforts, understand the cause of the malfunction and take all measures to restore the planet. We still have a chance to repair our ship and continue our journey in order to explore outer space and populate new planets.